catheter insertion. One ten four B intracranial pressure monitoring kit or one ten four B T intracranial pressure temperature monitoring kit. To insert the 110-4B or the 110-4BT, collect supplies, which include the catheter, a cranial access kit, and sterile supplies. An Integra Neurosciences Cranial Access Kit, product code INS-HITH, contains most of the necessary items for this portion of the procedure. The standard right and left prefrontal areas are the primary areas of insertion. After the insertion site has been chosen, the area is shaved and prepped in a sterile fashion, usually with a betadine solution. The shaved and prepared area is then draped with sterile towels. The area of the incision, which usually lies 2 to 3 centimeters anterior to the coronal suture in the mid-pupillary line, is infiltrated subcutaneously with 1% xylocaine. An approximately half centimeter linear incision is made and carried to the bone. A small mastoid type of retractor is then inserted to provide good bone exposure and hemostasis of the skin edges. It is most important to use the drill bit that comes with the fiber optic catheter. The safety stop on the drill bit provided in the kit can be positioned as desired by loosening the set screw with the hex wrench, sliding the stop into position and retightening the set screw. The drill bit is then secured to a hand drill and in a standard fashion and maintaining a perpendicular angle to the skull, a burr hole is made through the outer and inner tables of the skull. The surgeon needs to be careful when penetrating the inner table to minimize any potential for parenchymal injury. After penetration of the inner table, the drill is removed and the hole is irrigated with sterile saline. An 18-gauge spinal needle is then used to open the dura in a cruciate fashion. Following the opening of the dura, the Camino bolt is selected. The bolt is now screwed manually into the skull. The seating depth of the Camino bolt will be at the surgeon's discretion depending on the thickness of the skull. This will be approximately 2 to 3 millimeters for the neonatal age group, 3 to 5 millimeters for the pediatric age group, and 5 millimeters to 1 centimeter for the adults. If desired, the spacer can be used as a guide Otherwise, the spacer can be removed and discarded. The bolt is now secured into the skull. The stylet provided in the kit is inserted through the Camino bolt and the dura to clear the passage for the Camino transducer tipped catheter. The Camino bolt is irrigated with non bacteriostatic sterile saline. Remove the Camino catheter from its sterile package and firmly attach to the preamp connector. If the monitor display does not read zero, use the zero adjustment tool from the catheter kit to turn the zero adjustment on the bottom side of the transducer connector until the display reads zero. The catheter can be disconnected and reconnected at any time without losing the transducer zero. If using a temperature catheter, connect the thermistor connector to the temperature connection. Please note the temperature catheter is not MRI safe. When not using a temperature catheter, you can gently tether the temperature cable connection to the preamp cable. The catheter connection can be secured in a sterile towel to avoid contaminating the sterile field. To measure ICP, insert the catheter into the bolt using the centimeter markings on the catheter to gauge insertion depth. Place the thumb and index finger at the 6 to 7 centimeter marks. 5 cm double dot and insert the catheter until your fingers touch the top of the bolt. This places the tip of the catheter 0.5 cm beyond the end of the bolt into the parenchyma. The catheter then should be pulled back slightly, then the compression cap on the bolt turned clockwise to secure the catheter in place. While holding the catheter from above, slide the strain relief sheath down and secure it onto the compression cap. 110-4HM Microventricular Bolt Pressure Monitoring Kit or 110-4HMT Microventricular Bolt Pressure Temperature Monitoring Kit. To insert the 110-4HMT ventricular monitoring system, you must first obtain a 110-4HMT catheter, drainage system, and sterile supplies. 
and Integra Neuroscience's Cranial Access Kit, product code INSHITH, contains most of the necessary items for this portion of the procedure. The recommended frontal placement is 3 to 4 centimeters off the midline, just anterior to the coronal suture. After the insertion site has been chosen, the area is shaved and prepped in a sterile fashion, usually with a betadine solution. The shaved and prepared area is then draped with sterile towels. The area of the incision is infiltrated subcutaneously with 1% xylocaine. An approximately 3 cm linear incision is made and carried to the bone. A small mastoid type of retractor is then inserted to provide good bone exposure and hemostasis of the skin edges. It is most important to use the drill bit that comes with a fiber optic catheter. Adjust the safety stop on the drill bit to the estimated skull thickness and secure firmly using the hex wrench. Secure the drill bit to a hand drill and in a steady fashion and maintaining a perpendicular angle to the skull, drill a burr hole through the outer and inner tables of the skull, taking care to minimize any potential for parenchymal injury. Penetrate the dura under direct vision with a number 11 blade, securing hemostasis as necessary. Remove the catheter and bolt from the package. Set the length of the ventricular catheter at the estimated level of the patient's ventricle. Note the marking on the ventricular catheter is at the 5 cm mark for reference. Using the stylet, place the ventricular catheter with thumb and index finger on the top of the catheter and insert into the ventricle. When the CSF is obtained, hold the catheter securely, remove the stylet, slide the bolt down and screw in. Do not over tighten, as stripping of the threads may cause a loss of the seal. Continue to hold the catheter securely and turn the compression cap clockwise to lock the catheter in place. Slide the strain relief down and attach to the compression cap. Cap the catheter with a lure cap to prevent CSF loss. After bolt and catheter placement, remove the Camino catheter from its sterile package and firmly attach to the preamp connector. If the monitor display does not read zero, use the zero adjustment tool from the catheter kit to turn the zero adjustment on the bottom side of the transducer connector until the display reads zero. The catheter can be disconnected and reconnected at any time without losing the transducer zero. If using a temperature catheter, connect the thermistor connector to the temperature connection. Please note the temperature catheter is not MRI safe. When not using a temperature catheter, you can gently tether the temperature cable connection to the preamp cable. The catheter connection can be secured in a sterile towel to avoid contaminating the sterile field. Remove the lure cap from the ventricular catheter, insert the Camino transducer tipped catheter and secure the lure lock. Holding the ventricular catheter straight will facilitate passage. Prepare and connect an external ventricular drainage bag. For more information about any item covered in this in-service video or about any Integra Neurosciences product, please call our customer service department at area code 609-275-0500. One of our dedicated professional customer service representatives will help you or schedule a time that an Integra Neurosciences neurospecialist can visit with you at your facility. Thank you very much for your time and your business.